Roger Wilkins, welcome. Thank you very much for agreeing to do this. My pleasure. Um, I want to try to run through your life, if we can. Um, you can do it fast. <laughs> run as uh, fast as we, you can. We, we don't have uh, sufficient time to uh, focus as well as I think our eventual viewers would like. But we're interested in the development of leadership and black leadership specifically. And of course, that leads to questions about consciousness of race. You write in your autobiography that you're conscious of race and conscious of segregation, as other black children are at an early age. What are your memories of Kansas City and race and childhood? My first memory is that we lived in a very small black enclave in Kansas City called Round Top. And you walk two blocks in either direction, and you're in a white neighborhood. And I said to my grandmother, who lived with us, um, Graham, why do all the people on this side of 22nd Street, say, all smile and say, hello, Roger, and then we cross the street and everybody looks mean? Mm. I didn't see it in terms of color, but I saw it in terms of warmth and friendship. Um, there is a <clears throat> family story that my grandmother took me shopping. And this is my first civil rights activity. I was maybe two, I suppose. And um, we were on the top floor of a department store downtown Kansas City, and I told her I had to go to the bathroom. Um, she asked the woman where the ladies' room was, the sales clerk, and she said, uh, there's none on this floor. There's one for colored. It's in the basement. And I was doing a little dance that the little kids do when they need to go. And my grandmother said, can't you see? This little boy can't wait until he gets downstairs. And she said, go downstairs. That's for colored. And my grandmother said, all right, Roger, just let's unbutton your fly here. We'll just do it right here. <laughs> Whereupon I integrated the ladies' room on the top floor of that store. Um, that's a story they told uh, all along, but my first memory was a one-room segregated schoolhouse, my mm. first school. And immediately after we started, I don't know, six, seven months, they closed it. And I was still in kindergarten, and uh, I was bused across town, way across town, to uh, Crispus Attucks School black school. And it's interesting, nobody said, oh, those are poor black children that have to bust them, they're so small and cute, uh, they'll hurt their psyches. No, nor did people say it would hurt our psyches when people called us monkey, nigger, and stuff like that. Um, but then, you know, that made the, the uh, idea of race acute. And from mm -hmm. that time on, I had no questions about it. Now, you write about uh uh, your, your father's funeral was buried in a black cemetery. Does that summon up any consciousness that there's the separation even after death? Well, it's, it, it's, it has stuck with me. Um, I loved my father very much, and uh, my uh, memory of him is made more acute by the fact that uh, most people, he died so young, most people didn't know him, and so, so many people assume that Roy Wilkins was my father. Mm -hmm. um, and it has pressed a consciousness of my father um, into me, but he cared about me very much. He tried to help me to read and help me to love writing. Um, and some of my happiest childhood moments are times when he and I were home alone together. So. When he died, even though I couldn't fully comprehend the finality of death, it was a moment of, uh, of, of call it great trauma for me. And I remember the idea that he wasn't good enough, even dead, to be buried with white people. Mm. Um, enraged me, even in my sadness. And it's been, a, it's been an issue uh, for me all the rest of my life. I, I constantly refer to it. I've talked about it. I've written about it. Um, uh, I just, you know, it's, it, when a man dies, it's that very talented man dies at 35. Firstly, everything is unfair. Mm. And for his life 
to have been unfair, and for the end of it, the, the uh, that assault on his dignity still makes me angry. And this is now 61 years later. Mm.